guys, this is Patty from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. Today is going to be a tutorial and we're going to use my little canvas head and little Julia here. And this is 27T613 guys. So many of you have asked how do you do the bangs, you ask for bangs, etc, etc. Well, I'm going to do a bang for you today and I'm going to do it slowly enough that you can see. First off, I've got it pinned. I've got Julia pinned at the ear tab here and the ear tab here and make sure they're even. Then I've got it pinned in the back, the nape. I pull it down and I do two pins back there. Now, we've got a pin here and here and here and here. The most, if you hear nothing else today, I mean nothing, please hear me. If you have a smart lace wig. You can cut this hair and curl this hair till the cows come home on the second day and I'm telling you it will not work. Why? Because when you pull it up to do anything the smart lace pulls up. Can you see that? See how it moves? So you never get the bangs right. Trick! And I'm going to do it today with, with pins that have got pearls on them so you can really see it. I want you to take a pin here, take a pin here. I'm pinning in the lace close to the hairline as deep as I can go. And then when I'm done with the bangs, we'll take those pearls out. But I got to tell you, it makes all the difference in the world. Now what we're going to do is we're going to comb the bang down straight. And then I'm going to make a part and I'm going to give her a side swoop here and a side swoop here. And what I do when I do the side swoop, I take a clip and clip it. Now what, what you can do, seriously, if you don't have the canvas in the stand and all that good stuff, and then I'm going to clip it on this side. So all we're really working with is the bang, love. And put it on your girlfriend's head. Put it on somebody else's head. Put it on your kid's head. Tell them to hold it while you do the bangs. They're very, very difficult to do while you've got the wig on. I think it's just too hard. All right. Now there is my clean surgeon area. All right. We've got the bangs. Now, this is what I call my dirty bang. It's the bang that unfortunately I don't have it on today. This is a lure and it's not the kind of bang, but you know the bang I wear all the time. And what you're going to do, the combing and the prepping is more important than the actual cut. See how I'm combing from underneath? I'm bringing it all together, combing it on top. I had one guy say he combs for 10 minutes and he cuts for like one. Now, can you see how I'm pulling it as hard as I can? And I've got it pinned so it's nice and sturdy. Now, I want you to flip it one time. Get it nice and smooth. Flip one time. And I'm going to go down to about five or four and a half because then when the bang poofs a little bit, it'll get shorter. You don't really care about being, you don't want to get it too short. So it's better to have it a little longer. Now, here's the part. See my finger behind? I'm going to let you zoom in, V. See my finger behind how it's perfectly straight? My thumb is kind of curved this way. I'm not worrying about that. I'm worrying about that behind finger. And luckily, I have my markings on the canvas and it makes it easier. The biggest problem with doing this is learning to cut it straight. Can you see that, guys? Okay, now I'm doing it. Straight as a dime, I hope. Now when you let it go, you will see that the sides are a little longer. The middle is a little higher, and this side's a little longer. This, I must not have held it tight enough. See how this is a little longer? So I go straight up, and I get them even. Now there's my bang. 
It might be too thick, it might be too long, but that's the basic bang. Now what I'm gonna do, believe it or not, is I'm gonna take a little roller, and what I'm gonna do is just get a little poof that I can work with. That's all. See how that poofs it just a little bit? This is a big round roller, and it's called bed hair. You can get them from Conair and use it on low. Always on low. This is synthetic hair. So you can't go more than 175. See, I just leave it on a few seconds, and you just get that poof. And now comes the trick. We don't care about length right now. Now we're going to get the little poof that just comes naturally. And what I'm going to do is take my little comb, and I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to start in the middle, and I pick out like a little pie section. Can you see that? Straight on this side, straight on that side. I've picked up a section. I've pulled it all the way up. That's your 90 degree angle. See that? Now you'll see that the short hairs are there. Whoop, whoop, here's my long ones. I'm going to slice. And then when you let it go, see how it puffs? And it's piecey because you've sliced it the right way. Don't go across. Take a pie. So I'm going here. I'm cutting again. Cutting here. Here's a piece. Here's a piece. Now I just comb that little sucker. Bring it up to where the short pieces are. Straight up and down, babe. Not here, not there. Straight up. And all of a sudden you'll see. Ah, here we go. And I kind of graze it through, let it fall. I hope you can see what that does to just that little bit as opposed to this side and that side. That's the secret, babe. It's that pinning the lace so it doesn't move. Before, I'd try that and I'd go back to bevel it and the lace would lift up. Pinning the lace and then beveling your bang. Look at the difference from this side to the middle, from this side to the middle. Can you see it? I hope you can. Because everybody always wants these bangs and you, you get them and you, you put your girlfriend with the wig on or else you have a canvas. Now we're getting over to the side. I'm pulling up. There's the short hair. Straight up. There it falls. Now the short hair right over here on the side. And sometimes you'll get the long hair in, so you just pull it down. Okay, babe. Are you gutsy? Let's go for it. One, two, three, four. And let it fall. Now, all of a sudden, you have a piecey bag. Now let's do this side. Remember, we didn't do it. A side equal here, equal there. Hold it up. There it is. There's the smaller part. Look at all that sucker there. And I just slide. Let it fall. Now, even though they're thicker, all of a sudden you've got a piecey little bang. Now you go to this side. I'm going to finish the whole thing for you. We're on this side. Woo! -hoo. Now, now what I like to do is I like to make them even a little more piecey. You take your thinning shears and I want you to hold them opposite. See where the little grip is? I want you to hold them opposite so that this piece is against the head. We're going to lift up in pies again, hit down as low as you can, one slice, and that's it. Go underneath, pick it up again, just like the pie piece. Hit it, hit it, so you don't want any hair sticking out. Now you're going to start seeing air through these. Pick them up, 
just like you did before. Remember when we did that? Now it's cut. Now we're going to thin just a little. I don't go in far because I don't want short hairs back here on the top of the bang. I want it under. See, I'm going about half of the way. Under, hit it so you're at the very base. Hit it. There you go. Take the one slice over here. Slice it up. See, it's even. Hit now. Okay. Now you've got it thinned out at the top so you don't look like you're top heavy. Now look, you've got your piecey little bang. Can you see it? Now what I do, if I still want it more piecey, I take my little thinning shears, turn them around, and I go up like this at the very base. Up. I don't keep it even. Can you see? Up. Up. At an angle. Up. That, you might be afraid to do that in the beginning, but get an old wig and try an old wig first before you do it. I know some of you think, well, this is silly. I'll just go to the hairdresser. But you know what? I know a lot of you that live in places that there isn't a hairdresser that will cut a wig. You go in and ask her and they go, <clears throat> they don't want to be responsible. So, now we've got our wig. Just get the extra hair out. Does it look good? I can't see it. Oh, yes. Now... You've got these little things. The idea of the sexy, dirty bang is that you come down here a little bit, piecey, piecey, piecey. Then you go up a little bit. See how I've dipped it just a little bit there? That's because I like it coming right down the middle. I'm trying to cover those wrinkles. But anyway, it's a sexy thing. Your eye is here, your eye is here. If they want them shorter, you just pick at it again, do it again, and make it a little shorter. But usually, girls like girls that like this dirty bang like them long. So start long, babe. I'm right down here at a four inch now. Okay. I hope that was helpful. Don't be afraid. It's only hair. You know, go buy a doll wig or something and practice. Have a great day. This is Patty.